Hello guys, welcome to another edition to the 5 Minute Friday series and in this episode we're going to be learning about the CSS object fit property. So first things first guys, what is the CSS object fit property? Now the object fit property is all about resizing and preserving the aspect ratio of an image or video. So using the object fit property and then applying the values which we'll go over in a moment, we can essentially specify how an image or a video tag should be resized to fit its container while also preserving the aspect ratio. So let's dive into VS Code now and look at the different values of the object fit property. Alright guys, so we're inside VS Code and we're inside a folder called object fit which has two files of index.html and style.css. Now inside the index.html we've just got this really basic document layout and in between the body tags we've got a h1 with the content of object fit which is the title here that you can see here in the browser. Then underneath that we've got a div with a class of grid container which has four grid items or four divs with a class of grid items um, and I've laid this out using the CSS grid system. Now inside each of the grid items we've got a h2 so this is going to be the heading for each of the values. And then we have an image, so it's going to be the same image for each of the grid items, but they all have an individual class of the values um, that we're going to be displaying in a moment. So we'll head inside a style sheet, and we've got some styling for the H1, and then styling for the image. So we've got a width of 500 pixels and a height of 300 pixels with some border and margin. Now if you look in the browser, you can see the images here look pretty good. But let's just say for whatever reason in the future, we wanted to change the width of these or the size of these um, for whatever reason. So let's just say we wanted the width of these to be 300 pixels. You can see now that the image actually looks pretty bad and it's pretty skewed and really not what we want. Now this is where the object fit property comes in. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the object fill. So we've given the image the class of fill. So I'm just going to put uh, fill there and then object fit and then give it the value of fill. Now if you look in the browser you can see nothing actually changes. That's because the fill is the default. And what's essentially happened here is the image is resized to fill the given dimensions and completely disregards the aspect ratio. And the obvious issue again is that the fill value, the image if necessary will stretch or in this case squish to fit the container, which in many cases leaves an undesired effect. Now if you want the image to keep its aspect ratio, you can use the property of contain. So it's gonna be this uh, grid item here. So I'm gonna grab the image with the, the class of contain and then object fit. And we're gonna pick the contain value. And as you can see, the image has actually kept this ratio, but the immediate issue you see here is that the browser hasn't, has now tried to resize the image to fit within the specified dimension and has actually centered the image um, vertically. And this sometimes gives an undesired effect. Now scale down is pretty similar to contain, so I'm just gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna grab the scale down class. And then instead of contain, we're gonna say scale down and this pretty much keeps the image the same. So this is just the smallest version of contain, um, which again, the obvious issue is that it keeps the aspect ratio, but it kind of creates a gap above the top and the bottom of the image, which again, in some cases leaves an undesired effect. Now, if you want the image to keep its aspect ratio, as well as not allowing the image to resize to fit the specified dimension, we can use the value of cover. So it's gonna be uh, this grid item here. So I'm gonna go underneath scale down and grab the uh, class of cover. So the fourth grid item image. And I'm going to say object fit and I'm going to say cover. And if you look in the browser, you can see as well as keeping the aspect ratio, this value actually clips the image to fit the specified dimension, which in my opinion gives a much more desired look. And those are pretty much the most commonly used values of the object fit guys. It's a very underrated property in relation to images and it can really give your images on your website that extra little detailed edge. Now out of all these values, I find that I use cover the most out of these because it keeps the aspect ratio the same. But unlike the contain or the scale down, the image isn't resized, which in most cases is not the desired effect. But that'd be it for this video, guys. If you did like the content, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys next week in the next 5 Minute Fridays episode.